so sick. Doctor, help me, please. I'm in such pain. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, you must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? I was a good mother. No. 
No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. Over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course.
I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over. I have avenged my poor Mary. Yes, you prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's Domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. You just leave me alone. Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. So our beloved mother will just go back? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my... 
And what are you to her? Her count. She is my mother. What does she seek? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant ghostly queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Why did Harriet... You are the doctor. I noticed that all the icors were female, as if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter... If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast. Icors seem to carry various diseases. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse. This is not over. Tis unwise to interfere. What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty... But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. What will... They will never stop searching for William Marshall. What will become... I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new primate. Edgar? Are you serious? In a manner, you opened the way for him by saying a... No. I must know why Elizabeth... No. She is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? I am just here to see... Your sons? Plural? My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for yours. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum. You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of great... King Arthur was also your... Yes, he was. Who are your son? You are my son. As is William Marshall. This is madness. My progeny is scarce. Speak clearly then. What is it? Did I defeat... Now you found the castle, John. I cannot enter. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. It's locked, all right. The Lady of the Manor isn't expecting visitors. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. It's locked, all right. Like most castles, this one has a crypt. And it holds something special inside. This castle is falling apart. Elizabeth's perfume. 
She was here. And recently. This painting looks suspicious. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. One last switch. switch and voila to be afraid of. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. Blood 
Death is approaching. Old but young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, Father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, Father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Is this... really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. First Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and saviour of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life, and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes. To end it, once and for all. Where are we? What is this place? This is the Ashbury Estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the castle. Is this your retreat? Something of a secret place? It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became... unwell. Are you not afraid someone might discover you here? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. But you had your whole life there. Not anymore. Especially after my dear Charlotte was murdered. I have destroyed the disaster. This creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. The city has suffered, but it will prevail in the end. A more cynical analysis would be that this is an acceptable catastrophe. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil, she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. Why are you hiding William Marshall here? How could I not take care of him? He sacrificed himself by giving me the only dose of antidote he had. He gave you the antidote? Yes. And in doing so... Is he dangerous? What do you think? He is a thirsty echo who has not fed in centuries. An elder vampire, driven by an urge to kill and spread the blood of hate. Can he communicate? Yes. Sometimes he even seems like the noble knight who saved. We could cure him. It's too late. The... William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. 
Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate, but my father's antidote cured me. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. Not always, Jonathan. I remember how you killed that poor nurse for blackmailing me. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Yes? Sir William. My god. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. We could set you free, let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. Farewell, Father. <laughs> and to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death. Jonathan, wherever I go, I can't stand it. 
who cares? We are vampires. We are death. No, Jonathan. I won't bring another disaster into this world. I can't lose you, Elizabeth. Even if it means putting the whole world at risk. How can you say such an awful thing? Where is the Jonathan I once saved from a scowl in this abandoned factory? I'm not that frightened man anymore. I've learned so much. Done so much. I see. So there is nothing worth living for in this world anymore. Farewell, my love. Farewell. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe, the price paid most dear. But what do you care? You are the one who keeps killing. You've chosen your path, my fallen champion, like others before you. Prey to lust and desire, slave to the everlasting thirst. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. <laughs>